Thing. Order! Oh, order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A 10-year-old boy who was the first child in the world to have a double hand transplant is now able to write, dress himself and even play baseball. Zion Harvey underwent the surgery in Philadelphia two years ago after losing his hands and feet following a sepsis infection. Doctors say the key to his recovery has been Zion himself and his inspiring determination to succeed. Sarah Campbell has a story. Zion was already remarkable in the way he dealt with the loss of both his hands and feet. At the age of eight, he was selected to undergo pioneering surgery. He spent 10 hours having a double hand transplant, a world first in such a young patient. I just want to write a letter to the parents so for giving me their son's hands because they didn't have to do that if they didn't want to. <laughs> the operation was just the start, and there followed months of intensive rehabilitation. Here we've had weeks of hospitalization, a daily request for him to interact, to do therapy, to undergo testing. And again, there's never been one iota of resistance or I don't want to today or I don't feel like it. Zion's body rejected the donor hands eight times, but despite the setbacks, his recovery has gone well beyond his medical team's expectations. Now I can get myself dressed without anybody helping me. Now I can get a snack out the refrigerator without anybody helping me. Tests have shown that Zion's brain is connecting with his new hands, allowing him control over how they move. His progress has been watched by transplant experts around the world. He's done very well. He's a, a remarkable young boy, but it's, uh, it's a remarkably successful surgery. And as impressive as the surgery has been Zion and his determination to make it work. If any kid is watching this and you're going through a rough time, never give up on what you're doing. You'll get there eventually. Sarah Campbell, BBC News. I've been